Good morning. You're listening to FourDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm in New York City at Steel Case, and I'm with Mark DeFurek, who is the Director of Architecture and Design with Steel Case. Mark, how you doing? Good. It's great to have you here today. Good to be with you. I'm here with the IFI's Regional Symposium and ran into you. You're actually hosting this meeting here, and there is a trend that I wanted to talk to you about toward these collaborative workspaces and what that's doing with office layout. Let's talk first a little bit about your background. You're actually in sales, but you've got an architectural background, right? I do. I uh, have an interior design background. I've been with Steelcase for 18 years, and prior to that, I was with Geiger for 20. So always been in the furniture side of things, but yes, an interior design background. Now, most people know that Steelcase is in the office hardware business much more than just furnishings, you do panels. Tell us a little bit about what's going on with this transformation toward collaborative workspaces and what effect that's having on panel usage. Yeah, I think the, the it's a really big trend right now. We're seeing less and less use of panels. Or, or when we talk about panels, we're seeing lower panels. So, you know, a lot of times people are looking at this idea of collaboration as being the driver. I think that's one driver that we're seeing. The word innovation gets used a lot as well, because when we know to drive innovation, you have to have groups of people that have trust with one another. And trust is built when we have social capital amongst us. So this idea of being able to see people, being able to communicate is really driving this lower panel or no panel type of environment. The other thing we have to be thinking about, though, is you have to balance that, right? Because as you have more open environments, you still have people that need to be in an area where they need to be able to focus, they need to be able to concentrate, or even confidential work. So there's, we've got to be careful when we're doing these types of open environments to really make sure that we're addressing everybody's needs. So what's driving this phenomenon? Is it the generational role? I've talked on other interviews about the millenniums and the way they think about work, or is it technology? Tell us what you think is driving this transformation. I think it's a little bit of, of, of both. I think we have to be careful when we talk about a generational conversation. And, and the reason I say that is because, yes, we know that brand plays a big part in the workplace today. And we know that a brand and attracting this young generation is going to be important. So they like more open, more collegiate type of environments. But we also have to remember that every generation goes through life stages. And I believe this, as we've seen other generations move forward, they change their preferences. I don't believe the preference for having a choice of where you sit is going to change. I think the bigger trend is that understanding of today's users want to have a choice. They want to have a choice of where they sit. They want a choice of how they sit. And when I say how they sit, posture. Do they want to be in a lounge setting? Do they want to be in a task chair? Do they want to be standing? All of those things play a more important role in the new worker versus, I would say, in the past where it was really really about a hierarchical type of approach where I was going to move from a small station to a larger station to a one window office, two window office to that final corner office. That sort of has played out. Technology definitely is starting to play an even bigger role. So if you think of Steelcase right now, traditionally known as a furniture company, but we're also an architecture and technology company. And one of our, our newest products is actually a product called Tag Wizard. And that's really a reservation system. It's a electronic signage system that allows people to choose where they're going to work during the day and actually claim that space. And what I think that type of technology is going to allow people to do is have that freedom that I talked about, about where you want to work, but also the knowledge and the comfort of knowing that that's my space, which is the one thing that's missing when we talk a lot about this hoteling or free address type of spaces. So Steelcase is actually playing an active role in helping this transformation happen, right? Oh, absolutely. We believe that you have to create a great experience for the users to really adapt. So as we start to unveil new types of thinking, new types of insights around that, we have to take the end users with us. You know, you, you can't just ask somebody to move into a, a wide open, collaborative environment if you haven't explained the reasons behind it. I think their first inclination is going to be, oh, this is about real estate optimization. It's about saving costs. They're not really 
really understanding the benefit of the collaboration, the benefit of even the learning and mentoring that happens in these open environments, nor do they understand that their role is not just at that desk, but they are now they have a full floor plan that they're able to work through. So it's a real education process that has to start early, has to start often as we bring the client all the way through to moving day. This location where we are today, just south of Central Park in New York City, is this somewhat of a model for the way offices should be laid out? Absolutely. You know, we're very careful. We don't want to be prescriptive because we believe that each company has its own brand and its own culture. And as I said earlier, you know, it's really about understanding what's the range of space. So each company is going to have that variation. The other axis we play with is this idea of this I space, individual space to we space, you know, and that can be everything from two person conference rooms to 20 person conference rooms to large cafeteria meeting spaces. Uh, that can be transformed. And then also this idea of uh, owned and shared, right? So if you look at those four different or two different accesses, what allows us to do is really find the right fit for each client. So the showroom's designed to sort of explore these concepts, to explore these different areas, but we really want to work, understand what a client's business issues are, and then how can that space play into supporting their business goals. You know, Steelcase might have looked at this as being, and oh my gosh, you know, we're going to lose the revenue that we used to get from these panels, but you're actually being an innovator to help drive the process, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, as a true research company, you know, I think there's a difference between being a trends watcher and a research company. So as trends start to happen, people react to them. But Steelcase saw this during our research where clients were really talking about collaboration, innovation, knowing that we are going to be moving to these other models. The other big driver around this is sustainability. So when you think about what U.S. Green Building Council does in its performance metrics, we know that more light, more air is more productive for the individuals. So that's also driving those types of conversations. And at Steelcase is having the number one cradle-to-cradle products, we're in the forefront of that innovation and knowing that we had to look at other areas. So this we space became very critical to us. So when people come to work in these new transformed offices, do they have some personal space that they call their own? Absolutely. We think that's really important. You know, and, and personal space can be anything from, you know, a, a small desk touchdown space that they can go to every day. Or in our environment, everybody has their own locker and their own file, which they can go in and out of during the day. But what it does is it creates collisions with people that don't normally sit next to each other. So if you think about it, in our region, we have a lot of visitors that come from around the world. If they were in a traditional office and they sat behind a closed door or they sat in a high cubicle, nobody would really know where they were, who they were. When they come into our environment, which is all very open, what People instantly recognize they're new, they talk to them, they connect with them. They also have an opportunity to overhear, watch people within the region. So they're learning, they're connecting, they're becoming much more uh, connected to the culture much faster, which is another trend that we're also seeing is this idea of contingent workers. So as we've started to pull out of the recession, what we're seeing, our clients aren't necessarily hiring right away. They're bringing in a lot of consultants contingent workers, you got to remember that these workers are going to have a, a longer ramp up time if they're not engaged with the culture very quickly. So this idea of open, collaborative spaces allows them to connect with that culture much faster. Is this mainly a big city phenomenon or are we seeing this across the board in, in our country? Across the board. I think, you know, we always make a joke about New York being the canary in the coal mine. I think there's a lot of trends that happen here in New York, but New York is somewhat a conservative market as well just because of the cost of real estate. So when we look across the globe, we're seeing this as, as basically a trend that's really happening across the globe. And it's really being driven not just around the idea of collaboration, but it's really that innovation that's driving it. Okay, very interesting. One of the things I'm noticing here is there's music playing in the background. Who picks the music? Ah, that's all on brand for us at Steelcase. So yes, we have a team that actually looks at our overall showroom and experience, and the music is part of that brand experience. Okay. Again, we've been talking to Mark Stafurek, who is the Director of Architect and Design with Steelcase in New York, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.